Welcome back, tennis fans. Another GTL news. This one discussing all of the recent changes with the rankings. And as you may know, there has been a few high profile changes at the very top. So here we go. For the first time since November 2003, there's no big free player on ATP rankings to first spot. So Novak Djokovic is no longer world number one. There's no Rafael Nadal there, and there's certainly no Roger Federer. And the new world number one is Daniel Medvedev, with world number two being Sasha Zverev. And the most crazy thing about all of this is neither of them can play Wimbledon. So Daniel Medvedev, as you know, with the Russian ban imposed, will not be able to play. And Zverev is currently injured. So the new world number one and two will not be playing Wimbledon. And Djokovic now drops to number three. Um, it is pretty crazy. I mean, in most of my lifetime, you'll always see either Djokovic, Federer or Nadal at the, in the top two spots. Um, so it is a bit of a, a turning point. And I'm interested, what do you guys think of this? Um, number one, do you think the rankings aren't a very fair reflection of the state of play at the moment? And the second question, are we seeing now the turning point with new players coming through? We've seen Carlos Alcaraz already burst onto the scenes in 2022. And now some of the big players in Djokovic and Nadal moving down the rankings and no longer taking up the top two spots. Uh, this next one is just the, the overall ATP top 10 rankings. And you can see here, Daniel Medvedev 1, Zverev 2, Djokovic 3, Nadal 4th, Rude in 5th, Sissipas, he drops 1 place to 6th, Alcaraz currently in 7th, and then 8, 9 and 10 is Rublev, Felix and Berrettini. And I mean, coming into the grass court swing, it does look good for Felix and Berrettini because we know it is their best surface and they can really help cement themselves in these positions. But with Berrettini, he is defending a lot of points at Wimbledon, which will drop off, unfortunately, for him. This is quite an interesting one from Christopher Clary here, and this is the ATP weeks at world number one. Uh, Novak Djokovic leading the charge. He's been world number one for some time, and he's, well, he's blitzed for Federer in second place, and he holds the record currently with 373 weeks. I mean, that is going to be a massive uh, landmark to catch. If anything, I just see Djokovic making that even more if he can get to world number one again. And I don't see Federer, certainly. Sampras, we know, can't. Um, Nadal, can he do something mad? It's unlikely. I mean, Djokovic, to take this title from him of the most weeks at world number one, it's going to be a big ask. Um, we've got here saying Djokovic drops to number three this week and he will dr drop further after Wimbledon, which has no points. Uh, but if he never returns to the top, 373 will be the number to beat for many, many years. Uh, phenomenal achievement. Yeah, I agree completely. It is a massive achievement for Djokovic. And in my opinion, no one will catch him. We've got John Weverham in here, uh, just sort of confirming what I've said. And he asked the question, when was the last time Wimbledon featured neither top two ATP tour players? I did some research. And the answer is this, 1973 uh, was the last time. And it will also be the second Grand Slam tournament overall in the past 39 years without ATP number one and two. Also, the 1999 Australian Open. Uh, so it doesn't happen often, of course. And I mean, it wouldn't happen if Zverev was injured, wasn't injured. And with what's happening with Wimbledon banning the Russian players. So it is a bit unfortunate uh, more than anything. Uh, but yeah, great opportunity for someone new. And coming back to this tweet, you can see point B. If Nadal doesn't play, three of the top four seeds will be Sissipas, Rude and Alcaraz. And I mean, what an opportunity for them guys. I know Djokovic is going to be the massive favourite and the one rubbing his hands together more than anyone with Medvedev and Zverev not there. And of course, if Nadal's not there as well, which by the way, for another side note, I think Nadal will play. Um, but still great opportunity for the likes of Sissipas, Rude and Alcaraz, who in the past, let's be honest, have no expertise on grass. Um, but still great opportunity for them to progress and do something special. But there we have it. Just a quick news video for you guys. The big news is Djokovic ends his tenure at world number one for now. He has the most weeks, but he is no longer world number one. And the top two spots is not anyone in the big three. So... 
Big shout out to Daniel Medvedev, who's the world number one, and Sasha Zverev for reaching his record high, uh, well, record career high. Uh, but ultimately, them, them two players will not be playing at Wimbledon as well. So let me know what you make of it in the comments section. Thanks for watching. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe. See you soon.